When it comes to finding the best running shoes for you, it's all about the fit. Like your favorite pair of jeans, some shoe brands will fit your foot better and give you that extra boost to get out the door in the morning when you really don't want to go for a run. But whether you're shopping for shoes online or heading to your local running store, the choice can be a little overwhelming. Do you need a neutral or a support shoe? Should you go for a Brooks running shoe for your first half marathon? or opt for the Nike shoes your running partner has. To alleviate the confusion and help you find the best running shoe for your needs, we've handpicked the best men's and women's running shoes to buy right now. All of these running shoes have been tested on the run and each pair has covered at least 40 miles on the road, trails and treadmill. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 5. The 6 Gel Nimbus Lite 3. If you're looking for an everyday neutral trainer to clock miles and get in the occasional up-tempo session, the A6 Gel Nimbus Lite 3 is as good as they get. This shoe features a full-length single-density flight foam cushioning in rear and forefoot gel technology for maximum comfort and cushioning during any type of run. We found the cushioning level not too soft, but not too firm, thus hitting a sweet spot of just the right balance between the two. Typically with this much foam underfoot you lose some sensitivity, but not with the Nimbus Lite 3. We found the shoe to be fairly flexible, moving well with the feet and allowing them to react. Coming in at 9.2 ounces for men and 8.3 ounces for women, it's surprisingly lightweight for such a cushioned and well-padded everyday trainer. While the steep 10mm heel drop may not be for everyone, the steep ramp provides added support under your heel as you start to fatigue. While aesthetics doesn't affect technical performance, this is certainly one sharp-looking trainer. The slightly oversized, but sculpted midsole looks fantastic, and although white isn't my favorite color for running shoes, a 6 somehow put together a brilliant all-white shoe. Everyday neutral running shoes are the most exciting type of running shoes. They need to fit well and feel comfortable across a wide range of paces and distances and for the most part disappear when you wear them. No other trainer we tested hit these marks better than the A6 Gel Nimbus Lite 3. As we noted, this shoe will not disappoint those runners looking for a conventional, moderately higher drop, max cushion trainer. Number 4. Added is Solar Glide 5. We are inundated with max cushioned running shoes, one better than the other. Yet, the Adidas Solar Glide 5 offers something familiar yet fresh, an exciting new restart of a franchise that aims to replicate the success of the Ultra Boost series. Thanks to the Bubble Boost midsole, these max cushioned shoes are delightfully soft and energetic. The stack height has been increased slightly compared to its predecessor, which softens landings, and the weight has also increased all the extra boost but the overall performance of the shoes is very similar to what you'd expect of similarly built running trainers. The LEP torsion system makes the Solar Glide 5 more accessible to beginner runners. It helps with foot placement, conserving energy and reducing the risk of injury. Adidas has doubled down on its efforts to make the Solar Glide 5 more sustainable. The yarn used for the upper now contains more recycled plastic. Best of all, despite all the improvements, the Solar Glide 5 costs the same as the Solar Glide 4. Essentially, you get a new and updated Ultra Boost esque running shoe for a little bit over two thirds of the price of the Ultra Boost 22. What a bargain! Number 3. Brooks Launch 9. Most budget shoes will use lower quality foam underfoot to keep the price low. However, bottom of the barrel foam breaks down much faster, leaving you at risk of injury and in need of a replacement. Before I go into why the Launch is the best budget trainer, let me explain the Launch 9 versus the Launch 9 GTS. Two seasons ago, Brooks retooled and rebranded its entire stability line of shoes under the GTS. The Ravena was replaced with the Launch 8 GTS. So, if you like a more stable, supportive shoe, go with the Launch 9 GTS. The Launch 9 and GTS 9 use the Biomogo DNA midsole, one of Brooks' highest quality foams. The midsole perfectly toes the line between soft and responsive. As a bonus, the latest version 9 features 2mm more than the Launch 8 by GTS 8 for a much more cushioned ride, a welcome upgrade, as I felt the previous launch lacked cushioning. Brooks classifies the launch as a lightweight speed shoe with cushioning, and I agree, but it's also well suited as an everyday trainer, especially for those on a budget. You won't find as much cushioning as on the Brooks Glycerin. But at such a light weight, it does offer a generous stack height. Sure, you can find cheaper running shoes, but I guarantee they won't run as well. For those on a budget or just looking for a great running shoe for the here and there run, the Brooks Launch 9 and Stability Version Launch 9 GTS are among the best running shoes for the price. Number 2. New Balance Fresh Foam X1080 V12 
It goes without saying, you don't have to own multiple pairs of running shoes to be a runner. While some people might invest in multiple pairs for different sessions, if you're new to running or are on a budget, you'll still be able to build fitness and train for races with only one pair in your closet. Plus, if you're looking for that one pair, the New Balance Fresh Foam X 1080 V12 is a brilliant shoe to invest in. A seriously versatile shoe, the New Balance 1080 V12 is soft and plush enough to keep you comfy on your long runs, but can also pick up the pace when you need it for faster tempo sessions. Fit-wise, we found during testing it was a huge improvement on the 1080 V11, as New Balance has scrapped the molded heel which was wildly controversial with fans of the shoe. The downside here is that the shoe runs big, in fact, we'd recommend going down half a size in these shoes as they are extremely roomy. While this won't bother you when you get the correct size, it's frustrating for runners, especially if shopping online. Number 1. Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 39 If you're a fan of the swoosh, choosing a pair of the best Nike running shoes can be a tricky choice. While we're a huge fan of the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next% percent for race day, we know not every runner wants to race, which is why the Pegasus 39 sneaked into the top spot here. It was a close call between this and the Nike Invincible Run, which is also a brilliant everyday shoe. But when it comes down to it, the Pegasus was just more versatile during testing. It's got a good amount of React foam in the midsole for a lightweight, snappy feel underfoot, without being overly springy and leaving you feeling unstable on the run. The Pegasus is a workhorse, you can wear it for a marathon, your first 5k, and pretty much everything in between. For a shoe to be on its 39th iteration, it must be doing something right and with the Pegasus, you're buying reliability. The Nike Pegasus 39 is a huge improvement on the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38. Fit-wise, it's more true to size, and Nike has also added an extra Zoom Air unit in the heel of the foot for a more responsive feel. Whether it's the fact the shoe is lighter than the Pegasus 38, or the fact it has a second Zoom Air unit we're not sure, but the result is a shoe that definitely feels snappier on the run. So that wraps up our list of the best running shoes. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos or questions you have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way into. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.